take glacial scouring, add weather tempered by water, and you have the makings of the geological phenomena known today as the Finger Lakes. And they have their own microclimate, and it's perfect for grapes and bounties of other crops, George. Well, Liz, Sally Berry is with the Finger Lakes Tourism Alliance, promoting all things Finger Lakes. And Deborah Whiting is executive chef and co-owner of the Red Newt Vineyards in Hector, near Seneca Lake. Now, uh, since you're near Hector, was it tough getting in here because of the snow on the other side of that? Or <laughs> no. Okay. You didn't have to deal with the snow. But I was a little startled when I heard about the 20 inches in Buffalo. <laughs> I think we were all were just like, our, our jaws dropped. I mean, they've had record snows before, but not until at least Halloween. So, Sally, what, what, what would you call this? Culinary tourism? Uh, culinary tour tourism is a perfect example of, you know, visitors come to the area, and one of the things they want to do is try the local foods and, and go to the local restaurants and say, oh, well, I was here, I had grape pie, or I had up in Rochester, they have the garbage plate at Nick Tahoe's, just the kind of an experience and local food. So this is a great opportunity to promote the region as well as the food of the region. And yes. you know, Sally, also, and we're going to start with a wonderful recipe here in just a minute, but the wineries here keep expanding and growing, and the grape is so good. They've been able to bring this northern European grape to upstate New York and make it work. And it, over the last 25 years or 30 years, it's, it's phenomenal, mm -hmm. isn't it, what's happening? And Deb can speak to the winery part of it, but the, the wineries are part of the reason the tourism industry is growing so well in the Finger Lakes because people hear about the wineries and want to come see the wineries, right. and then they do all the other things there are to see while they're here. All right, so, so Deb, you've got both things covered. Let's talk about the uh, recipe. This is all stuff grown here. For the most part. Yeah. Um, i just like to say that uh, the organization that I'm representing, in addition to um, my business, which right. is Red Newt Cellars uh, Winery and Bistro, mm -hmm. is the Finger Lakes Culinary Bounty. Mm -hmm. okay. And we are an organization that networks uh, local restaurateurs mm -hmm. um, with local producers of all different ki types. Mm -hmm. And so the recipe that I'm doing here basically is a pumpkin yaki, uh, and it's made with many local products, local pumpkin, local apples, um, collard greens, uh, cream, you name it, potatoes. We have a little bit of sampling of what actually the uh, local products are. And one of the things that is very important to the Finger Lakes Culinary Bounty and also to mm -hmm. myself um, as the owner and executive chef is that I want people to come to my restaurant to experience the Finger Lakes mm -hmm. through food and wine. And that's what they're doing. And when they come in, uh, we have the culinary bounty sign in, in our window. And what they can do is they're looking at a menu that says, highlights which particular entrees are, you know, 70% from local producers. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a very exciting thing. So here we have... Um, Pumpkin... Say pumpkin yaki. yaki. Uh, oh, yeah, yaki. sounds oh. good to me. And Smelling good, too. D N O C C H I, which okay. is basically a potato pasta. Uh, what I've done is I've taken um, not only uh, potatoes, but also pumpkin to make mm. this mixture. Right. And so this is kind of the final product here is what the gnocchi looks like after it's been processed a little bit. And what it initially looks like after mixing it with your potato pulp and your so how would you pulp. do it at home? You would boil potatoes, mash them, and then what bake, them. Bake, oh, them. bake them. Bake them. Look what I've done. Yeah. Bake them. Oh, that's, that's fine. It's fun to play with. Right, so you, so you okay. bake the potatoes. You bake the potatoes. You can roast the pumpkin, and then you basically mix those two together. Mash with, them up. Yes, fine, finely mash them mm -hmm. um, with some garlic and some flour, lots of eggs, a little bit of cheese. And then what happens with the gnocchi process is you roll it out in these ropes here, and then you cut it, as I've shown here, and then you actually cook it in boiling water. Okay. So I've done all that I've done for all you. Okay. So what we're now, doing has this been cooked in boiling water? Yes, it has. And how long do you boil it? Um, great thing about gnocchi is it floats when it's done. So you okay. have the boiling water. Watch it. It floats. Gnocchi. Okay. This is, is like this is nail proof, as I said to someone nail earlier. Proof. It is easy. You can do it. It's is it not like dumpling? Well, the, the preparation? A little bit like, yeah. like I mean, I'm thinking, yeah. you know, going to the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. But I think this is a great way, you know, we think of pumpkins, we think of pumpkin pie, mm -hmm. but this is a savory recipe mm -hmm. with it. So I've got my, my gnocchi in here with some sausage. I've got some local sautéed apples. Now, what kind? Does it matter? Um, um, I mean, certainly you should use the ones that you like to work with. These happen to be Ida Reds. Mm -hmm. Ida Reds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ida Reds. And then I've got some dried cranberries, which, you know, the, the dried cranberries aren't local, but 
I do hear that there are some local cranberry farms starting mm -hmm. up um, in the Finger Lakes. And this is a roasted garlic cream sauce Oswego made with County, some, I believe you got those from. Is that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, with some local cream. And then we have local collard greens, believe it or not. And these are wonderful for you. They're nice and healthy. And Does I this think look after good? the frost, they're good now, right? That's what <laughs> yes. the farmers tell me. Yes. Wait till the frost for the greens, and then it gets sweeter. That's what they oh, tell Oh, yeah, me. they're wonderful. They're absolutely wonderful. And you, you've uh, sliced them. What would you call that? That's a chiffonade. 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 Thank you very So much. you roll yeah. them, and you do a thin <laughs> slice on them. Don't you love it? Does that look good or what? It does. Oh, and, it's, and you know, the other thing is... Um, it's really good for you. There's no preservatives here. It's it's all local. It's as fresh as you can get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and that's what makes it so good. And you that's said what we really stress at the restaurant. This smells outstanding. What goes into the cream sauce again? Very roasted garlic, mm -hmm. um, eggs, heavy cream, salt and pepper. Gotcha. Simple. Really okay. Really simple. Right. And you would serve what kind of wine with that? I would, of course. <laughs> of serve course. A Riesling. The Red New Cellar is reserved Riesling, which is a dry Riesling, which goes absolutely wonderful with this. It's a dry Riesling. It's a dry Riesling. It is bone dry. Bone dry. Bone okay. dry. <laughs> All right. This is cool. Boy, the Rieslings have taken off, haven't they? Yes, and they have. They've this, been so successful this, for this, mm -hmm. um, the finger lights. Does this go on top of something? Is it all together already? No, this is all together already. Okay. So it's, it's really, really simple. The nice thing about this, too, is, as you can see, you can get all the parts taken care of earlier. So mm -hmm. if you want to do this for, you know, a, a, a guest, you know, or a party, it's easy. It's really, really The thing easy. that would concern me, not concern mm -hmm. me, but I would be struggling with would be getting the nachi. To, well, how do you say that? Nyaki. 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 Getting the nyaki together. Well, that's oh, just it's easy. It's potato and pumpkin and, and it's what potato, else? potato, pumpkin, there's some flour, some eggs. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to take that... Um, make a dough out of it. Make a dough out of it, but it all goes into a mixer. Oh. And you mix it all up. And then, and then you come out with something like this. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then you take that and you roll it into these ropes here. So this can show mm. you. Look at that. Are right, you going to do And then you do a little cutter. Mm -hmm. And you just cut these little... Just yeah. little nuggets here, and this is what you float <laughs> on the water. You've got a conference coming up, Sally? We do, actually. Um, Finger Lakes Tourism, uh, we do an, a tourism institute in the spring. We're also doing one uh, uh, the 24th of this month, and we bring in national speakers to educate people in the tourism industry. A lot of the winery folks are joining us about some upcoming trends. Uh, we have someone from AAA talking about the inspection process. We're also going to be talking about a partnership that we have with Finger Lakes Culinary yeah, Bounty right. to really kind of partner with the tourism mm -hmm. and the culinary mm -hmm. piece of it. So and October 24th, and it's actually at one of the newer vineyards, uh, Ventosa Vineyards on Seneca Lake. So. Ventosa mm -hmm. Vineyards. Yes. Mm -hmm. wow. Now, how long would you cook that? Because I see those greens are getting there. there it's She's almost, almost done. Yeah. It's almost done. You serve this at your restaurant? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. In fact, it is currently on the menu at the restaurant. <laughs> oh, she just hey, I'm going to get that in there. I can't wait really to there. taste um, that. That's fabulous. Uh, we want to get a quick taste on that. Is okay. it just well, about ready? Wait, wait, wait. Is it just about ready? Yeah. Oh, plate okay. Here. We do have a plate. I was and thinking I'll never get to taste it. George, I think you could pour a little bit of wine. Okay, here we go. Yeah, about just wonderful. <laughs> wow. Okay. Are you ready, George? Ready. This looks good. I mean, that cream sauce just looks the place. heavenly to me. Okay. Here we go, everyone. She's and at our Tourism job. Institute, we're going to have a lunch that's all Finger Lakes Culinary Bounty sort of themed food, so it'll mm -hmm. just sort of tie the theme in a little bit more. Well, we're going to put the information on the screen. Here we go. So if you would like to attend, if you're in the tourism business and you would like to know more about the Fall Tourism Institute, the Finger Lakes Tourism Alliance, they've got tons of information for you. It's Tuesday, October 24th, and if you'd like to make a reservation, just give them a call at one 800 Five three zero seven four eight eight, or just go to www.fingerlakes.org. Mm. Oh, I want to taste this uh, this wonderful mm. pumpkin mm. ganache or ganache. Yaki. 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 Well, this good. Delicious. Mm -hmm. to say. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Sally Thank you, Berry. ladies. <laughs> Deborah, thank welcome. you for joining us. Thank and you. next week on Our Seeing Why, we'll get a preview of a rare book auction at Syracuse University. That we will. We're going to discover the ins and outs to social networking sites. All you need to know for your family. And we'll talk energy supply, policy, and how it impacts our everyday lives. I'm George Kilpatrick. And I'm Liz Ayers. Now keep a look out for those black cats and broken mirrors. And do enjoy the weekend, everyone. Be glad we didn't get that snow. See you on Monday. Bon appétit. Ha, 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 ha.